Hello folks, welcome to today's step-by-step -step tutorial on seamlessly connecting Azure Databricks to Azure DevOps for effective version control. This streamlines collaborative efforts, centralizes change management, and facilitates the seamless transition of code across various environments. So let's dive in. Log into your Azure portal. Select the Databricks workspace, which you want to connect to version control. In this case, I have ADB demo. Click on Launch Workspace. So once you're logged into your Azure Databricks workspace, go to Workspace, click on Repos. You can directly add a repo, but I will create a new folder. I will name it as Test. Hit Create. Now click on Add Repo. I have already created a repo for this demo, so I will navigate to that. I will copy the URL and paste here. As you can see, it has auto-detected that it is Azure DevOps services. There are various kit providers which you can connect to your Azure Databricks workspace. If you want, you can also rename this repo. There is an advanced option, which is known as Parse Checkout Mode. This gives you the ability to clone only a specific subdirectory of your repo. This is useful if your repo is larger than Databricks supported limits. Now, under the grid credentials, there are various ways how you can connect your grid provider to Azure Databricks Workspace. As I have Azure Databricks Workspace and Azure DevOps under the same tenant, I will be using Azure DevOps Services with Azure Active Directory. If you have Azure DevOps or the version control into a different tenant than your actual workspace, you can leverage personal access token. So I will be selecting Azure Active Directory and then it's it. This validates the connection is successful. Once the connection is successful, I will hit Create repo. Now you can see that I am connected to my Git repo and I'm on the main branch. It is good practice not to directly work on the main branch. You always create a new branch. So let's do that. Click on the main. From here, you can see I'm on the main branch. I will hit create branch. I will name this branch as test and hit create. Now there are other options as well, which is reset, merge and reverse. These are Git functionalities which you can leverage while working with Azure Databricks. So now, you, as you can see, I'm on the test branch. I will edit this readme file. So let's edit this. As you can see, I have made this change. Now I will again click on the test branch. And on the right side, it will reflect all the changes you have did. I will add a commit message. If you want to put it in description, you can. Then I will hit commit and push. Once I have done that, I will navigate to my Azure DevOps repo. I will hit refresh. As you can see, I have a test branch now. And here, these are the changes. Now, I will create a pull request. From my test to the main branch, hit create, hit complete, then complete merge. It will look for any merge conflict. If you have, then you have to resolve it. Once this pull request is complete, I will just read the source branch and I will navigate back to my database workspace. As we have completed a pull request, I will switch from test branch to the main branch. And now you can see I'm on the main branch and the changes are reflected here. Congratulations, you have set up version control for your Azure Databricks environment. Thank you for joining me in this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, remember to show your support by liking and subscribing for more Azure Databricks related content. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Looking forward to connecting with you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.